What's going on Wix Nation, MPS here, and today I'm calling all of you restaurant owners. If you are a restaurant owner, I am very aware of your struggle at the moment, and I know that everything happening in the world has caused several issues, although it has also presented a few opportunities. And although they may be difficult to see right now, I promise you they're there. For instance, you now have the ability to expand your web presence and focus on some core things like online ordering and building up your website that you may not have realized you needed beforehand. And now we're here and we've arrived at that point. So if you're watching this video, I'm gonna give you three core Wix restaurant apps that you need to use if you are a restaurant owner. Hey, if you are brand new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I highly recommend you smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because you're not going to want to miss the content here on the channel. And plus, you'll instantly join the largest Wix training community on the internet. That's right, the entire internet. And we'd love to have you. I'd love to have you. But without further ado, let's jump into those three must need apps for your restaurant website. Welcome to Madre, our Mexican restaurant. And today I'm gonna to be serving up to you three different Wix restaurant apps that you need to be using if you are a uh, restaurant owner and have a website. And if you don't have a website, there's some bigger issues that need to be discussed, but that's okay. No offense there, it's just you need to have a website right now. So we're gonna start with the very first website app by Wix that you need to be using, which is the menus app. So if you go into here, by the way, if you use any of the Wix restaurant templates, if you started with one of those when you actually originally created your website, most of the templates will already come loaded with a lot of these apps, but I wanna give you a little bit of a deeper dive into the apps and just show you how to add them if you don't already have them. So the first is Wix menus. Um, if we go to add apps, this will pop up our Wix app market. What I'm going to want you to do after our good old Wix app market loads is I'm gonna want you to type in menu and you'll see Wix restaurant menus. You're gonna to wanna to click that and you'll see it's already added so we're gonna click open. So this takes us to our menu page, right? And from here, you have the ability to, um, so if you click on your menu here on the menus page and you click settings, from settings, this is where you have the ability to choose the layout, the styling, the design. You could change what's shown, you could choose the layout, you can choose the font, the font color, the different fonts, the font size, the price color, the price size, all of that stuff can be managed here. But what I wanna do is I actually wanna go to manage menus and show you a deeper look at the actual app itself because this is important to understand and to know. So it's gonna open and it's gonna open the Wix menus. Now obviously this is going to be used for you to display your menu on your website. I highly recommend you do this. I know both for myself and anyone else that I ever go to dinner with that are looking for restaurants, they always go to click on the menu and see what that restaurant offers and then sometimes even what the price points are. Now whether or not you want to display the price points on your menu is up to you. I always go with error on the side of full transparency. Um, you shouldn't be ashamed of your prices by any means. For instance, if you're a steakhouse and you're charging $49, $100 for a steak, that's what you do. People know that they're coming to you to get a fantastic steak. Don't be ashamed of that. So I always recommend putting the prices. It gives people perspective so they know where they should be going out to eat tonight, right? So 
when we click here, we see a couple different things. We see the ability to create a new menu and we see current menu. So if we click on menu right now, you can see there's two sections. So how it's broken up is which menus actually allowed you to break up your menu into sections, just like you would a traditional menu. For instance, this has starters and this has burritos. And if you click starters, it allows you to actually add each individual dish. And you can add section info, so a little description about what this is. Maybe this is, you know, your, uh, your um, appetizer menu, whatever it is. And you could even add a little section image if you wanted. And then what you'll do is you'll literally come through here and then you can add a dish and you can either selecting an existing dish or add a new dish and you would choose an image if you want a nice product image, the name of the dish, the price, if there's tax, a description, and then obviously now you want some labels. Is it vegan, is it gluten, uh, vegetarian, gluten free, organic, is it spicy, how spicy is it? show it to the customers, don't show it to the customers, is it in stock, is it out of stock, and you wanna add these things, and you can come through and actually do this for each one, and then you can connect your online ordering, and we'll get to that in just a second, but you can see that this is how it works. Now, granted, maybe you've got a lunch menu and a dinner menu, right? So what you can do is you can actually come in here and you can add another menu, and you can name this one lunch menu, and then you can give it a little description, this is lunch, whatever that may be. You press add, and then you can add sections within here for your lunch menu. Maybe you've got, you know, same thing, but maybe you've got a section for lunch specials, right? So you'd come in here, you're adding a new section. You're gonna say lunch specials, and then you add it, right? And then you can add your lunch specials, the dishes, what they are, and describe them, add pictures. And that's how the Wix menus app works. Now, here's what I'm going to preface this video by saying. If at any point I'm going through a particular app and you have more questions about it and you'd like me to do a full in-depth tutorial on solely that app, please just let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to do a full breakdown of that particular app. The next essential app that you're going to want to get familiar with if you have a restaurant is order online. Guys, in this current time, this is more prevalent than ever. So many people are electing to stay home, order online, whether that's delivery or the, for them to come pick up and not eating out. They're staying in, they're quarantining, they're doing all this kind of stuff. And if you've got a um, restaurant, you want to make sure that you provide people an option to be able to do that. So. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to add apps. Once again, the Wix app market's gonna load up and you're gonna type in order online and you'll see Wix restaurant orders. And then you will click open because it's already added on this Wix template. Now, just like, just, just like our menus app, if you click settings, you have the ability to come through here, adjust the settings, which shown the layout, and then the design. The fonts, the colors, all that kind of stuff, you can change right here at design. Where I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go to manage orders because the Wix restaurants uh, online ordering app has a lot of different compartments, a lot of different areas, and I'm sure most of the restaurant owners watching this website or watching this tutorial are likely gonna want me to do a full breakdown on this app, which I'm happy to do. But again, please comment down below so I know and I'm aware and I can provide you the most value possible because ultimately that's what I want to do and that's what I want this video to accomplish. Okay, so we're here in our Wix ordering system. So you first see over here menus, orders. This is all under the, like the Wix restaurant suite. So first and foremost, you can see right off the bat that this is where like in your Wix dashboard, you'll get notifications and new orders. Uh, you'll see the in progress orders. You'll see all of the orders here. This will allow you to break that all down. Um, if we click more, you can export all of your order da data. Uh, you can get analytics on it. However, if we go to settings, uh, we see a couple of things. So first and foremost, you can see, you can choose when ordering is on and off and you can actually edit this. So you can say on and then you can apply 
and you can choose when ordering is on and off. Now, a couple different things. Pick up, let customers know where to pick up their orders. So another key thing here is you need to have a Wix premium package, uh, one of the business on, uh, business and e-commerce packages because you'll be accepting payments over your website and which requires you to have one of those hosting packages in order to accept payments you can see that right here add a payment method so customers can order and pay online very easy to do you just got to get a hosting plan okay very simple and if you're an established uh, restaurant you're going to do that anyway so now for pickup, you can add your business location. You can choose what the default is shown, like orders are ready for pickup X amount of minutes after they're received and shown at checkout. And you can choose what that looks like. You can adjust your hours. And then if we go back, I'll show you. Um, we've also got delivery. So your restaurant may offer delivery. Now, obviously you need to start by adding a location. So what you'll need to do is you would have to add your restaurant location. You've got to fill out a whole business profile. It's going to have you add all of your business information, your name, a description, your logo, contact information, your location. And that's where you're going to do all that. And then if you go back to restaurants, so then that, that's adding delivery. And then you've got notifications. So my orders tab, what this looks like. Do they appear online? Where are they appearing? Um, do you add new alerts? So that way you're not missing orders at the restaurant. You need to figure out how you're going about the notifications of new orders. Uh, and then you've also got advanced options. You know, how can people leave tips? Is there an express checkout option? Future orders, do they already have their customer information in? Uh, text message, so customers can validate their phone number, policies, anything along those lines. So like I said, there's a lot of moving parts here on the Wix online ordering system. If you guys would like me to do a full breakdown of this, just let me know in the comments, happy to do so. And last and finally, there are still people eating at restaurants, right? And Right now, a lot of places, restaurant capacity is still limited. So you need to be able to give people a way to reserve a spot, right? So placing a reservation. So the last and final app I want to show you for restaurant owners is Wix Reservations. This allows people to reserve a place and time. Wix Reservations, we'll click open. It's already added on this template. And then if we go here, we will see a couple of things. First and foremost, if we click on settings, I'm going to show you this. Once again, you can change the, um, what it looks like, the layout, the design. And then if we go to info and we click manage reservations, this is going to be your reservation manager. This is where you'll be able to see all of your reservations for the day, the night, whatever it looks like, right? And we're going to go ahead and let it load up. But this is especially important because, like I said, uh, having these three components, giving people the ability to see menus, giving people the ability to order online, and giving people the ability to make reservations, more now than ever, is so crucial if you own a restaurant. So make sure you take the time to do these things. Now with the reservations, you can see current open reservations, what's upcoming and all, and just the same thing. You could export those. Um, if we go to settings, we can see a few things. This is where we'll set some of our information. General, so how are reservations working at your restaurant? Is there a minimum or maximum party size? How much time do you need in advance? What's the notice like? Do you have a grace period? Do you hold them for up to 15 minutes after? You get to choose all of these numbers and then you choose the availability here. You could even choose advanced options and require uh, text message validation, right? To, um, to get people on the text message validation. That, that's another cool little funky thing you can add, which is actually really useful. Confirmation. So you have to choose whether it's an instant confirmation and they, when they book the reservation, it's instantly confirmed. Or if you, as a restaurant owner of one of your employees, has to actually manually go in there and uh, confirm that confer, uh, reservation. You have to choose those things. If we go back, you've got notifications, just like the online ordering. Are they received on online on your My Reservations Wix dashboard here plus your Wix app or do you get email as well? You can add those things. And then advanced 
same kind of thing, adding policies. And that is the Wix Reservations app. So restaurant owners, there you have it. If you have a uh, restaurant and you better already have a website, the three core apps you need to have are Wix menus, Wix online ordering, and Wix reservations. They will help you draw in more traffic to your restaurant, whether that's takeout, whether that's delivery, whether that's people sitting there, it's just going to help your uh, restaurant generate more traffic because you're giving full transparency. People can access everything they need to access when looking for a restaurant, and that just helps your chances of drawing that person into your restaurant. If this video helped you out, please go ahead and smash that like button. Comment if you want a more full breakdown on anything and what other questions you have regarding owning a restaurant and building out your restaurant's website on Wix. And lastly, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on because you're not going to want to miss any content here on the channel. We're only continuing to grow and I want to be able to help you out and make tutorials that you need. And you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet. That's a pretty great place to be. I'd love to have you. I know our community would love to have you. And especially right now, we want to support local small businesses, small local restaurants. We want to support you. I want to support you. Anyone that's watching this that may not be a restaurant owner, instead of going to one of your chain restaurants tonight, go shop small, shop local. Go to one of your mom and pop restaurants that's out there that's trying. It's a rough time right now, guys. Small businesses are hurting. And as an entrepreneur, a small business owner myself, I'm supporting small business. And I vote that you do too. Okay, so I appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone watching this video. Small business, restaurant owners out there, I hope this was able to help you out. Let me know what else you need from me, what other videos you need from me. I'm here to make them for you. Thank you for watching.